Hola Cancer Sun Aquarius Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Uh, when you view this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter. There's something on my finger, whatever that is. Um, it doesn't matter the time of year. And keeping that in mind, check out your 2022 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist list. See if they rang true for you. Uh, first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your sun moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be, and give me a link below, where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. Let's get to your uh, traits of your combination. Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Aquarius, Moons. This combination is one of the hardest to completely figure out. You can be very cautious and closed off and are very eccentric, a, a very eccentric and far out being. Sorry. People are either mystified or confused by you and you're fine with that. You're deeply nurturing humanitarian of the highest order. Additionally, you are heightened into intuitive, intuitive, uh, and Psychic abilities allows you to sense an individual's needs at a deep level so that you have better understanding about how to attend to them. Friendly, protective, and amicable, you have no problems making friends, but are selective about the ones you truly trust. You believe strongly that all people are good beings, and when they prove otherwise, you cast them out permanently. You value loyalty and expect it in return. A fountain of creativity, you can often get lost in your own imaginative thoughts. Sometimes others need to reel you back, but it also allows you to view things in new, innovative ways. You may suffer from bouts of moodiness and nervousness, which can, which can cause distractions when focusing on what needs to get done. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Cancer Sun, Grace Moons for the year 2023. Thank you for the two cards that you have provided. Can you please provide two additional cards for the year 2023 for Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons? Okay, can you please show us July, August, September? July, August, September, we have the Nine of Swords in the upright. And October, November, December. Um, the King of Cups in the reverse. Wow. What's going on with you guys? Um, so again, and that just fell, I was loose on the cards and that fell out. Um, I'm going to kind of say what I've, I say when it comes to a reading that come, it is not the best reading. Um, I believe that you should embrace adversity. Uh, anybody can take the easy road. Uh, adversity to me is to be embraced um, and get excited about it because it's a university, uh, the university, the universe, whatever higher power you prescribe to is just throwing stuff your way to see how you're going to manage it, how you're going to deal with it. Um, and you will be rewarded uh, based on how you manage it and how you deal with it. Okay. Um, we are shaped from the tough things in life, not the easy things. So always embrace adversity, focus to get to the other side of it. Um, so <laughs> that being said, uh, oh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. We'll start with the page of swords in the upright for January, February, March, where I feel that there is an entity, there is a person, and you are being very mindful of them. So uh, you're watching them from the distance. You're trying to extract any truth you can about them, anything that's going on with them, any facts that you can, uh, just trying to figure out what's going on with them. There is something about them or this entity that has you on guard. Notice how he's holding up the sword, ready to swing it um, in a defensive kind of stance. Um, so something about them has you a little bit um, on edge and you're kind of using your... Um, your ability to, and you might even be using your intuition to try to figure this person out to kind of guard yourself. Um, you know, so if they do come at you, you know what they're all about and you can handle them as needed. Uh, I do feel like they somehow kind of worm their way in, in April, May, June, we have the high priestess in reverse. Uh, this to me, the high priestess in reverse is typically a sorceress to me, somebody who's giving you bad advice somebody who is trying to get you to not listen to your intuition, um, maybe trying to get you to, you know, maybe saying to you, oh, come on, you don't, you know, <laughs> you don't have to believe that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you know, trying to convince you otherwise, okay? You know that something is amiss with this person and I feel as though they're trying to get you to disregard that feeling, that spidey sense that you have, that there is something amiss with them. They're trying to 
kind of to get you to go, they're going to lead you down a wrong path, basically. Um, and it's definitely not somebody that you kind of, you want to continue uh, <laughs> connecting with, let's put it that way. Um, typically, they have secrets or they, they know something and they're kind of keeping it locked up, not letting you uh, be privy to it. So just kind of a shady character in general. And again, it doesn't have to be a person. It can be an entity kind of behaving in this way, you know, like a company, body of people or what have you. We get into July, August, September. Um, here's where I feel this is kind of bothering you because uh, you're really in your head. So here you are having, a, um, having a, oh, what's it called? When, uh, can you believe I forget what it's called when you can't sleep? I almost said amnesia, but it's not that. You know what it is when you can't sleep. Um, I don't even know. That's crazy. That's the most common term. Maybe it'll come back to me. But anyways, so sitting up in the middle of the night, putting your hands over your face, going, oh my God, you know, this is the waking up at 3M card with worry, with distress, with negative thoughts that absolutely paralyze you, overthinking, ruminating, um, you know, negative thoughts that absolutely paralyze you. So um, really not a good time, really probably a stressful time for you uh, during this period of time. Uh, you're really going to be in your head. You're going to be overthinking things to a fault. Uh, my advice during this time would be, you know, what do you need to think about? What do you have? What do you need to think about? What do you need to block out? Um, what do you have control over and what do you not have control over? So there's going to be letting go of a lot of things because your mind is being overtasked during this period of time and you're overtasked mentally. And then in October, November, December, you're overtasked emotionally uh, here so where you're going to be very moody, a lot of negative emotions. You're going to have a hard time corralling your emotions. Honestly, I think it ultimately comes to this person. I think that they convinced you to let them in somehow or to connect with them or be in your life somehow doesn't he have to be romantic it could be a friend it could be a business partner whoever it is and i feel like it's all downhill from there so if you get nothing else out of this reading i'm going to tell you if your intuition if you're feeling like somebody is not right um you know despite them showing you their, their best face forward trust in that because i think it could it could be problematic for you in the second half of the year so that's what i have for you all if it resonates consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading just email dm me or text me at 646-902-5715 um, but definitely make sure you click on the vimeo link below where i'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2023 uh check out your 2022 sun moon readings in my playlist see if they rang true for you and then finally look me up on facebook instagram like share, subscribe, or donate in support of my efforts. Always appreciated. Otherwise, Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Moons. I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.